So, hi guys. It's been a while since I uploaded a Minecraft video, so I thought I would redo the protection video that lots of people watched, but not that many people actually seem to follow. Um, so this time I'm going to do it using the World Edit CUI plugin. Um, this will help you guys visualize what I'm seeing by displaying it on the screen. You don't need World Edit CUI at all. Um, I've never used it before, I installed it last night. Um, some people do use it, but I'm normally pretty happy to visualize stuff myself without, you know, it, it's not hard. Uh, anyway, I uh, found this little spot here yesterday that's unprotected. So um, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to basically protect an area and uh, well first of all see if an area is protected, see who owns it. Like I'm pretty sure that isn't protected by the way someone's gone and dug straight through the wall. So uh, first of all I'm going to chop down this tree. If I go kit tools you get a nice selection of stone tools that you can start off with. So let's chop down a tree. And remember, always chop down all of a tree. Otherwise, you get killed. Um, now, I'm going to make a stick. How do I do it? That. A stick. I have a stick. A stick is used to find out if a region is protected. So now I'm holding the stick, I'm going to right click here, and that says, well, I'm actually an admin, so that's why it says I can build. But here it says no defined regions. So up to here, that's the border there. So I can start building from here and up that way, only because I know spawn is basically a cube all no defined regions, but this block here will be part of spawn, yes. Let's go over here and check out this house. Oh, no, that has actually been protected. I don't know why they let someone tunnel in through the outside, all the chests are protected. It's all good. Okay, back down here. All this area here is unprotected here. So I'm going to build something, um, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to go into creative mode just for a second and um, let's build something a bit non-boring, how about a magenta house, I'm going to make it a bit odd shaped too, just to show you that yeah, it doesn't have to be a boring cube that you protect. I realise I missed a the block then, doesn't matter. That'll be my entryway there. That looks pretty cool. Let's throw some yellow wool on top. This is basically looking like something a six year old built, I'm totally aware of that. My daughter Jade plays Minecraft, and if you have a walk around behind spawn, it's actually just sort of over there a bit. If you see where I am on behind spawn, it's just sort of over in that direction is the kid zone. I wonder if we can see it from here. No, it's a bit further over that way. Love the Minecraft glitch. Some cool stuff down there. So, let's continue building this. Oops. Uh, I should point out that um, what I'm building is nowhere near qualification of a plus. This is a really bad house. Um, yeah, chiseled sandstone. Let's just make this as awful as possible. That'll be the roof. That'll do. 
Oh, an apple dropped. I shouldn't have picked that up. That's now in my creative mode inventory. So what we have is an oddly shaped house. Like that. Now it's a bit dark, so I'll uh, grab a torch, put a couple of torches up. There we go. This is my house. Now it's a bit oddly shaped. There are uh, several ways of doing this, but realistically most people are only going to want just to do a cube. A cube is easy. So if you did watch the other video, you'll see that I started at the bottom left. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Get myself out of creative mode. Now, down here, you'll see I don't have a wooden axe. A wooden axe is what you use to define the regions. You can always get a wooden axe by typing wand, slash slash wand. And I have a wand. Um, now what I need to do is define a cube around here. Now, I don't want people tun tunneling in underneath me, and I don't want people building right next to me. So I'm going to start there. That is my bottom block. Now, see how I've left click on that block. Um, you won't see this cube here unless you have the world edit CUI, but this is just to help you in visualizing what I'm doing. And the other edge of the cube can be here. Now, you'll see that we have uh, a cube that's two blocks high, because it was went down one, and it covers the floor plan of the house I've built. Now, I want to expand that region up to cover all of it. So, I'm going to type slash slash expand five up. That is the area I'm now protecting. I've expanded it up from there. I also want to make sure that no one can build, you know, dig in underneath me. So I'm going to expand it down a couple of blocks. Expand three down. And you'll see now that I have a nice area around this. Now, my other, actually, I'm pretty sure I've gone into the spawn area there. Um, only because I'm an admin, I like this will actually work. Um, hopefully it'll work. Um, well, let's try it. Let's see whether I can claim it. Region claim xrobau test. It worked. If I was overlapping with another region, it would say that you can't claim a region on top of another region. That's pretty much it. This area is now protected. I'll just clear that selection. Oops. So, third time lucky. There we go. Over here, it should say no defined regions. No defined regions. No defined. Right now, I did make it. Just made it. But over here, where the blocks were, this is now defined as extra value test. It's very, very simple to do world guard protection. You know, there's, there's nothing hard to think about. All you need to do is just remember where you started. Oops, sorry. Remember where you started, which was that block down there. And my other corner was, I believe, this block here. Which, as you can see, is on a different level. So it was two blocks high. I expanded up to about there. And down a couple of blocks and then went region, claim, and a name. The name has to be unique. If you try to claim a region name that already exists, it will tell you. You can then just push up arrow and change the name. You can also see what regions you own by typing my regions. And you'll see that I have two regions, x use place and x u test. That's it. Regions are really simple. Uh, hopefully that'll help you out. Thanks.